Hey guys, Universal here, and today I'm doing a lightning showcase. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and play all the moves for you so you can see the moves, which is what most people want to do. So let me go ahead and play that for you real quick. Anyways, that's the move set. Now, if you're still watching, thank you very much. Look at that cool Goro. I, I know that thing is that thing is so drip. But anyways, now I'm gonna get into the in detail showcase for those who still want that. First off, we'll be covering voltage up, a very short cooldown utility move where you place orbs of electricity behind your back and can buff all your moves. This move is limited to a max of four orbs behind your back, and the buffs it gives consists of damage, speed, and AoE. This move can be used stationary or while moving. Depending on the number of orbs charged, your two skill will do more damage. Your 3 skill will move faster and deal more damage. Your 4 skill will completely change the type of animal that's used or if you have all 4 orbs charged it will turn into a beam. And then your 5 skill will just gain more AoE but not more damage. Next up we have Lightning Palm, my auto aim teleported garage and knock back at the end. This move is completely blockable but has very fast startup. This move goes on a short cooldown if used when opponents are out of range. This move deals 95 damage when used instantly and 135 damage with 4 volt charges at max level. Next up we have a pretty similar move to Lightning Palm, Crashing Thunder. You slam into the ground where your cursor is aimed bypassing your opponent's block and emitting electricity that will fling them away. This move deals 95 damage when not charged at all and around 230 when 4 volts are charged with it. Next off we'll be talking about the move that's technically 5 moves in 1, Projected Judgment. This move has 5 different versions that depend on how many orb charges that you have behind you. The first version is no charges where you just shoot a little orb that does around 130 damage. It does not guard break but it's pretty fast traveling and has like slight amounts of stun on it. Next up we have one charges worth which turns your projectile into a wolf. It still doesn't guard break but deals 156 damage. Next up we have two volts charge which changes your projectile into a falcon. It does 182 damage and actually guard breaks now. Next up we got 3 charges worth which changes your projectile into a dragon, deals 208 damage and bypasses block. 
And finally, if you have four charges, instead of shooting a projectile, you'll just shoot a gigantic beam which bypasses block dealing over 200 damage, I think around 230. Next up we have Crushing Judgment, a sort of barrage range projectile where you'll like summon a cloud and then it'll strike down lightning above your opponent which is all blockable until they bring down a huge beam that goes straight through the block hitting your opponent pretty much no matter what and if you have enough charges it'll be so big that it's literally impossible to get out of the move. This move deals around 110 damage regardless of charges. And lastly we have Raigo, which kind of reminds me of ABA's Raigo because it's probably something you're not going to hit that much, even though it does have really good range and this is going to be a great move for boss fights, but the initial hits you're probably never going to hit, but the AOE on the move itself is very large and it bypasses block doing 250 damage, so there is a chance you might be able to hit that. Alright, now I'm going to show you my bread and butter combo. The 1 and 2 are interchangeable in this combo, do whatever you think you can land, but after landing one of these skills, charge the next skill up by 1 to where you absorb only 1 orb, then when you do it, you want to use your 4 skill, and then it'll shoot the dragon, and then BAM, big damage right there. Because unlike with Doe, this fruit is more of a you use multiple abilities to wear your opponent down. You're not going to hit one big combo. Alright, I'm fighting a Doe. I decided I had to give y'all at least one 1v1 to like check the standings of the fruit. Alright, so, ow. Yeah, Doe's still Doe. Doe, it did get some nurse. It did get some nurse. Uh, stop coming near me. Dang. I tried to do the strat of sniping him with the 5 while that comes at them. You're not hit. Ooh. See, that's that AoE I'm talking about. That's that AoE right there. He some even though I hit it all the way over there, he still somehow got hit. Okay, now I gotta back up. No moves. And he somehow still catches me. Okay. Love that. Ooh, yeah, it has way less stun now. Way less stun. You can't go for M1s like that casually. Mink. Mink. Yep, yep, yep. That hits like a truck. Huge range. That's all I'm talking about. Mink. That can block. Okay. They didn't block it though. They didn't, I didn't hit it though. And here's like what I love to do right here. We zone him? We zone him? This is what happens when we zone. You don't zone Goro. Goro zones you. And he got launched out. He needs to get in here and then I think he'll be dead or he's gonna. Oh, yeah, he, donuts. Okay. This is smart. This is smart. Not much I can do about this. But I would like to come talk to you. Yeah. Um, I don't get fully stunned, but mostly stunned. Oh, you're so lucky. I did my beam and everything. Uh, Doe still hits like a truck. As you can see, I'm, I'm extremely low now. Mink. Can't get out of this. Mink, caught him lacking. Mink, 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 mink. GG. That was extremely close. I still think Doe's like definitely like the best room in the game, but Goro's definitely extremely good. Hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.